Good morning. It's day or second day in Jerusalem exploring. And today I believe one of the places we're going to go to is the Mount of Olives. Yeah, uh, Abraham's tent. I'm not quite sure what all that involves. We're having a meal there and I think riding a camel again as well. Uh, I think we're doing the walk from that Jesus would have done on Palm Sunday, I think. A little bit unsure what all we're doing today. Um, most of it is in downtown Jerusalem again, so. Another nice day, maybe we've had perfect weather here. Uh, typically it's kind of cool and rainy this time of year, but it's been in mid to upper 60s, sunny every day. It's a little bit overcast uh, this morning, but yeah, it's gonna be a nice day again, so. This church for Radis um, theorized to be the area where Peter denied Jesus uh, three times. And the church built over this site, as there is at all these sites here. And uh, during the excavation, they found in the basement, that's where headed now, the very bottom, there's a they unearthed a palace down there that they figured was one of the high priests during Jesus' times, palace. Maybe in uh, campus. Only speculation. We're on top of Mount of Olives. We're looking down over that cemetery we got pictures from before. So some of these uh, graves are 3,000 years old. Huge cemetery. It's hard to get the perspective from up here. We're getting ready to walk from the Mount of Olives to the Garden of Gethsemane. Uh, as you can see over there, those are the south steps that were actually used Jesus during Jesus' time to get into the temple.
This is a desert outside of Jerusalem. Uh, it's amazing, Jerusalem's right on the edge of the desert when you go to the east. It doesn't take long to get out in the wilderness. We are getting ready to visit Abraham's tent. This is where we're going to have lunch for the day. The first thing I want to do is say thank you. Because there's no way that I could fulfill the good deed of hospitality without you guys here, right? So thank you in my name, also my wife's name. You know my wife? Sarah. Sarah.